the graph in this slide plots the free energy and standard reduction potential of the electron system components, highlighting the fact that free energy and the standard reduction potential, or SRP, are directly proportional, and showing that there are three redox reactions with large drops in free energy. In theory, the three big negative standard free energy changes that were greater than 7.3 kilocalories per mole are enough to fuel the synthesis of three ATPs by oxygen consuming processes that came to be known as oxidative phosphorylation or OP for short. Indeed the stoichiometries of ATP synthesis coupled to NADH or FADH2 oxidation were worked out. NADH oxidation seemed coupled to the synthesis of three ATPs while FADH2 oxidation fueled only two ATP syntheses. Based on the amount of these electron carriers produced in the electron transport system, one could predict that the free energy from glycolysis and the Krebs cycle could fuel the synthesis of 34 ATPs. So now the question is, how is the exergonic electron transport system pathway actually linked to ATP synthesis, to oxidative phosphorylation?